Uh, well, we, I thought that the start was uh, was very efficient. Uh, I thought we moved the ball. We made a big play on defense, scored on defense. Uh, I think that our third down, or excuse me, our third quarter performance was not up to speed. Um, we've got to do a number of things better. First and foremost is that we've got to run the football better than we did today. We did not run the ball uh, efficiently, and that in turn put us in some uh, put us in some situations that we don't want, we don't typically like to be in. You talked about how Matt and uh, Julio uh, kind of clicked today. They well, they had a, I thought they had a very good day, uh, game. Both of those guys, uh, Matt was 116. I think Julio had over 180. 80 yards, I believe, it's, uh, somewhere in that range. So uh, they made a couple of uh, very good football plays, uh, you know, throughout the game. So Matt and uh, Julio had a good game. Um, was the lack of the rushing game in the first half more a part of what St. Louis's defense was doing, or was it more just not part of your game plan? Well, again, you, we only rushed the ball six times in the first half. Uh, we weren't very efficient at it uh, when we did rush it. And the way that the team tried to defend us is going to dictate how we're going, how we're going to attack them and then open up some opportunities to, to throw the football. Mike, can you talk about some of the uh, significance of some of the injuries? How serious are they? Uh, obviously, there were a number of players that did not finish the game. Uh, and. You know, I don't want to get into any details. Uh, we will have an injury report Wednesday um, after our, you know, after our practice. But uh, obviously, there were a number of players who did not finish uh, finish the ball game today. On the defensive side of the ball, how much um, did the lack of starters affect the defense in terms of wearing down? And well, it put a lot of guys, uh, Jeff, out on the field that normally. Uh, would not have the number of snaps that they had, and it was compounded by using those backups on defense or guys that were playing on special teams. So it was, uh, you know, it was tough. There were a lot of guys that stepped up on the uh, on, on both sides of the football today that were, were called on, and their role changed from the opening kickoff to the end of the ball game. Coach, what was your take on the secondary, specifically McLean, Chufana, and um, Alfred? Uh, I think we, you know, we gave up some leverage on some plays. They were, uh, you know, they were. That was a good uh, offense. That quarterback could throw the ball. I felt like for their second uh, timeout that they did, a, they did a nice job, and I think they'll continue to get better uh, as they have more experience. When Steve Jackson went out of the game, did that affect your game plan in the second half, trying to run the ball? Did you just go to the well, the when you when you lose your uh, running back for the game. Uh, it does obviously change how you have to, you know, how, how you have to proceed. And again, a lot of it had to do with the way that they were trying to defend us, um, and it opened up some opportunities. And I think we took advantage of those opportunities. The uh, the lull in the third quarter was uh, definitely a concern. Mike, coaches always talk about the next man on the theory. How much does a game like this actually maybe help down the road when guys are on the field? Well, it helps immensely, and as I told our, our football team in the locker room after the game, that uh, I was very proud of the way that they approached this week. We uh, played a very physical game down in New Orleans, had a very uh, long injury report, and uh, we had some guys that really spent a whole lot of time with our athletic performance group and worked hard to get uh, you know get back up to speed. Uh, and the, you know the next man up mentality is what the NFL is all about.